Thank you. Welcome to our first high bid Husker football show for 2020. And coach, what a wild year. How did it feel to just get out and compete in a football game for the first time in 330 days? Hey, it was fun to be out there again. It's great to be out there with the guys. Uh, a little strange being in an empty stadium, different environment, but uh, we're glad we're back to playing. Time now for our text to coach a question segment brought to you by U.S. Senator Betty in Iowa. Coach says she thought the Husker line seemed to match up physically better than last year. How about your thoughts? Yeah, I think that's probably true. Um, you know, they won their share. We won a few. Uh, I thought we held up on both sides of the line of scrimmage pretty well. Um, you know, you can't make mistakes against a bad team, much less a good team. And uh, some of those mistakes cost us on a few drives. But um, I think we did match up a little bit better. Betty, thanks for the question. Reminder, you can text coach a question for next week's show. Thanks to our partner, U.S. Segator, the official wireless partner of the Huskers. When we come back, we'll jump into some first quarter action from the Huskers game at Ohio State. That's coming up next. Welcome back to the High Bid Husker Football Show. The Huskers open the season at number five Ohio State on Saturday. Gray overcast day, but dry, per no precipitation. Very little wind for the Huskers opening game of the 2020 season. We wanted if Luke McCaffrey and Adrian would play at the same time, and you answered that early on. Big run here by Luke for 47 yards. Coach, how about this play? Uh, good design. Um, Good job by our coaching staff getting them in that situation, and, and we kind of skipped the tight end around their, their fallback defensive end and cracked down on the backer, and uh, Luke did the rest. And uh, both those kids, I thought, other than a turnover, played pretty well, Luke and, and Adrian. So they're, they're definitely two of our better players. Adrian finishes off this four-play drive and 75 yards with a touchdown run. He, he, I thought, ran really hard for you today. He did run hard. That's one of the things we've been asking him to do is, is to play with his hair on fire a little more. Uh, this was kind of a broken play with the, the blitz coming off the, the boundary, and Adrian made something happen with it. You're up 7 nothing. You put some pressure on Ohio State. You got to field three or four times in the game. This is a good effort by Will Honus. Yeah, I thought uh, both linebackers, Will and Colin, played hard. Uh, I thought they came up and tackled well. I thought as, as a defense we tackled better, uh, did better at the point of attack. Uh, you know, they got a lot of weapons, and they made some – some big plays on us and, and we need to try to address those things. We gave up a few too many uh, easy throws and, and out routes by playing a little too soft. Um, so there's some things we got to fix, but um, thought there was some positive things as well. Fields is such a talented quarterback and then Master Teague finishes off this drive with a touchdown to make it a 7-7 game. You try to get Wandale involved a lot at different times in this game. Yeah, I think they had an eye on him. Um, you know, that, that pass right there got him involved a little bit and just a, almost hit a couple screen passes to him. Uh, when you're playing a team with their kind of speed, the execution's got to be really sharp. And I thought we, we executed really well on some things and we're just a, a count late on some others. This drive ended in a punt for you. Ohio State comes back. Your run defense for a good chunk of the day was pretty solid against a team that can really run the football. Yeah, it was. I, I was I was pretty happy with it, just their yards per catch. Uh, we gave a, up a few too many things like this, uh, uncontested. Um, but I, again, at the point of attack, I thought we did well. I thought we hit hit well and uh, some things to build on. We, we got to get some guys back healthy and, and add some people to that defense as well. Fields shows his strength there. Then they take the shot, find Wilson in the end zone for the touchdown and the buck. The Buckeyes grab a 14-7 to lead in this game. Here's a nice scramble from Adrian Martinez. This drive doesn't, doesn't go very far, but Will Pristup ends up punting and, and pinning them deep. How about Pristup today in this game? He averaged 44 yards on punch for you. What did you think of your punter? Yeah, I thought we punted it and kicked it better, uh, but this drive is just another example of um, you know a penalty, a fumbled snap, uh, those kind of things killed drives. and. You know, we're still playing a few young people, but uh, we got we got to solve those things quick. And um, I think I, I think we'll address them this week and, and hopefully take care of some of those simple mistakes and fixable things. Another good job by your defense stopping Master Teague on a short game after the punt pinned Ohio State deep. And this is going to be one of the last plays of this first quarter, which the Buckeyes had a 14 to seven lead. We're back with action from quarter number two. That's coming up next here on the High Bid Husker Football Show. Welcome back to the High Bid Husker Football Show. The Huskers taking on the Ohio State Buckeyes on Saturday in Columbus. On to the second quarter. Bubble screen for Ohio State to start this drive. Your defense had a good stretch here in the second quarter of really shutting down this Buckeye offense. 
Yeah, I thought, uh, again, at times really good. It was impressive the way Decap and JoJo came up on that one. I um, thought we tackled pretty well in the open field against some good skill players. Um, this is one of the screens I was talking about to Wandale. Just a little late getting the tackle out there. We were a little too far for him, from him when we caught the ball and close to being a big play. This was a tough play. Jack Stoll gets hurt on this play. You, you're putting together a really nice drive here. That was too bad to see Jack. Mills running hard here to pick up and nearly broke out of that tackle. It could have been a big run for you as uh, you were able to just take this down. A nice play here from Adrian leaking out to Austin Allen. Yeah, we, we were kind of saving that one for the right time and running a, some wind and skip and then got the tight end around past the linebacker. Um, thought Adrian did a good job getting what he could on that one and um, we jumped in unbalanced that real quick and pump, uh, popped this one in and felt pretty good right at this point, 14-14. Midway through the second quarter, all tied up. Uh, now you go back on defense against this Buckeye team in a tie game again, midway part of the second quarter, and you can – Play great for three or four plays against Ohio State, but they're so talented. Fields is so good. It just takes maybe one play to, to kind of break things through, as you see, that, again, the replay of the Mills touchdown. But I was just so impressed with how well you stopped their running game in that first half defensively. We did. Um, again, talking about some of the things we need to fix on, on offense, the, the two turnovers and a couple dumb penalties that, that cost us drives. Um, Defensively, you know, I said this after the game. We, when we get a sack and we, or a big play, and we get them in second and 19s and third and 14s, we got to get off the field. And um, if we do that a couple times and and don't shoot ourselves in the foot a couple times on offense, when you know we have a chance to be in a game like this and, and win some other ones. So um, I think it's stuff our kids can build on. JoJo Dumman makes a nice play off the edge. You hold him to a field goal, and this. After this field goal, this was, the, this was the tough stretch of the day for Nebraska, offensively and defensively to end the half. Yeah, just if we could have done anything here with this drive um, and, and, it, and maybe scored and had the lead, maybe had it tied or at, at very least run some time off the clock, uh, we'd have felt really good about where we were at halftime. And we just sputtered on that drive and uh, gave up a sack and had a bad penalty. And um, next thing you know, you know, we're going to into the halftime, two scores down, and uh, I think we played better than that. Buckeye is able to finish this drive off with a Master Teague touchdown run to take the 24-14 lead into the locker room. And so after you had it tied midway through the second quarter, had the ball back, only down three, not able to move it, the Buckeyes extend their lead to 10 at halftime. When we come back, we'll check out the action from the third quarter of the Huskers opening game of the 2020 season. You're watching the High Bid Husker Football Show. We're back on the high-bid Husker football show. 24-14 the score at the half, and then you have to go right back out on defense to start the third quarter. This was a big challenge for your defense to try to shut this down. How do you think they, they handled this opening drive? I thought they fought hard on this drive. Uh, again, just playing a good team. They converted on uh, a couple conversions they needed to make, keep drives alive. Uh, Really, really close to, to getting them stopped a couple times, but just didn't. And uh, we got to find a way to fight and get those things done. They are able to score here as a field scramble for a touchdown stretches their lead to 31-14. Then your offense starts to move the ball. This was a pretty solid drive you had to get this your first possession of the second half. Yeah, I mean, being honest, when we didn't shoot ourselves in the foot and do, do dumb things and get penalties, um, we moved the ball pretty well, and I thought this was kind of the turning point. We were still fighting and scrapping, hoping to get this back to a two-score game again, and um, you know this fumble and, and return uh, can't happen. Turnovers can't happen. Coach Osborne used to tell us that. I I say the same thing to our team, and certainly can't lead to seven the other way, and, and that kind of blew it open. Ronald Tompkins, you had a chance to see him for the first time. What an amazing story, Coach. This young man's been through an awful lot. Yeah, he has, and uh, he's done a good job throughout camp, uh, running hard and and trying to learn things. And I, I thought in the limited time he got in there, he did some good things. This is a pretty impressive drive. I know it didn't end the way you wanted it to, but this was a nice drive. Yeah, um, had, a, had a chance to get that ball off there. Adrian did a good job scrambling. Still would like to see him turn it back in, get us a couple more yards there, and then we got to execute in the red zone. Um, had a chance on first down to punch it in, didn't quite get it there. 
Um, second down, they made a nice play. Third down, we had somebody open in the end zone, and we, we got to make those plays. Um, but again, we, we had dug too, too big a hole for ourselves at that point. And right there was one of those things you were talking about. Third and 14 for Ohio State. They run zone read, pick up 16. Cam Taylor Brick gets ejected on, on that play to let him, out of the, let him out of a box after you put some points on the board. And so it was a 38-17 game at the end of the third quarter. Uh, Huskers trailing against the fifth-ranked Ohio State Buckeyes. There was a, a, you get a turnover there as they fumble it out. But you're down 38-17 going to the final 15 minutes. We'll check out those final 15 minutes coming up next here on the High Bid Husker Football Show. We're back on the High Bid Husker Football Show. The Huskers taking on the Ohio State Buckeyes to open this season. Start off the third quarter after getting the turnover, but unable to move it much here. And, um, but your team was fighting hard. I, you had to like what they brought to the field on this gloomy Saturday. Yeah, again, putting ourselves behind the, the sticks uh, didn't help. Uh, one of our young players just busted an assignment on a protection here. Um, so, uh, you know, again, mistakes by ourselves that, that we can learn from. Um, you know, it, it's great to see some of the defensive guys playing this hard, particularly at this point in the game, and some young guys making some plays. There's Ty Robinson after Caleb Tanner had a sack. He sacked Fields three times and nearly had a fourth. He just got back to the line of scrimmage to keep it from a sack. And then... Here's your second targeting ejection of the day, Deontay Williams, and a play that, uh, boy, not many people agree with this call on the field and may really make next week difficult in that first half for you. We did see a lot of different formations from you offensively in this game. You lined up an eye, you did some option uh, as we watched the Buckeyes finish off a drive here for a score. Talk about all the different um, formations you used offensively. Were you pleased with how much you were able to put in this game? Yeah, our guys have a good feeling of the of the scheme and, and the system right now, particularly the veterans. Uh, there's a couple positions we're still trying to get some young guys all the way there. Uh, but I, I think uh, the personnel we have right now gives us a chance to be multiple. Um, still need to, to push the ball downfield in the passing game. I know there's been a lot of talk of that, and, and we're aware of that and have been for a while. Um, so we'll keep trying to do that. Thought I was pleased with getting our tight ends more involved in, in the passing game and uh, we got some good players there, um, but uh, the, the guys know the scheme, and we're able to do a lot of things and be creative because of it. There was the second fumble that you had in the game, the Luke McCaffrey fumble, which stopped another really nice drive. You were down, getting close to the red zone when that thing popped out there. Uh, your defense kept fighting. Ben Stilley gets in there. Garrett Nelson, we called his name a few times. Casey Rogers, another one of your young defensive linemen. We mentioned his name quite a bit in this game. Yeah, I thought the D-line did well. Casey and Ty and um, Ben Stilley and even Keem Green when he got in there and, um, you know, some other guys. And I uh, thought they, they fought hard, uh, Daniels and DT as well. So um, feel good. You know, that's a good team we played, and, and I thought in a lot of ways we held our own. 52-17, the final score. The Buckeyes win it over Nebraska. Huskers start 0-1 in the year and come back home to take on Wisconsin next week. We'll get some thoughts from the coach about that matchup. Coming up next, welcome back to our final segment of our first high bid Husker football show for the fall. Huskers put Ohio State behind them, get ready for Wisconsin. Another really good team, Coach. Different kind of challenge, though. They, they do some different things in Ohio State. What about the prep getting ready for Wisconsin? Well, we got to be ready. This is a great team, too. Probably a top 10 team as well. Um, you know, when the schedule came out, we knew it was front loaded for us, and uh, we had some. Uh, big challenges uh, right right away to start the season. Uh, we're looking forward to getting back to work here, though. Uh, feel the progress the team is making. Uh, this is a big week for us. This would be a, a big one to compete well in and try to win. Um, and I think our guys are excited about it. I asked you this on the post-game radio show, so I'll do the same thing here. How many of the mistakes that you saw in Saturday's game, in your eyes, are correctable? Yeah, almost everything. Um, you know, there, there are some plays I can't ever take anything away from a team like we played Saturday. They're, I think, one of the, the top three or four teams in the country. Uh, last year will be again this year. Uh, but, you know, we just take the turnovers away. I think we could have scored a couple more times. Um, penalties kept us from scoring a couple times. Uh, a couple breakdowns on defense, giving them some easy plays, letting them out of some third and longs. Uh, you, you just turn those things around, and, and we were in a battle So against a really good team. So. Uh, there's some things we, we can iron out uh, 
and things we can control to get better. I know it's going to be a home game, but minus the fans. I know you love having the Husker fans there. It's going to be strange not having them at Memorial Stadium. It will be, but uh, we know they'll be behind us wherever they are. Great. Coach Frost with us here in our first high bid, high bid Husker football show for the week. We're back here next week with a recap of the Wisconsin game. Thanks to the entire Husker Vision crew and to you for watching. See you again here next week.